Uh, here's just a quick demo uh, demonstrating the light sensitivity of a normal neon bulb. So this is my uh, Tech 575 curve tracer. Uh, I've been replacing a lot of the old electrolytic caps in it to get it working. And so it's working now and I just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like. We're going to curve trace a neon bulb here. And let me zoom in. Come on, zoom. So the uh, vertical axis is the current going through the bulb. We have just about 10 milliamps. And the horizontal axis is the uh, voltage going into the bulb. So what happens is nothing happens till we get to about oh, 75 volts. And then uh, 75 or 80. Then the bulb triggers. And then on the way down when we're sweeping the voltage, because the gas is already ionized, the bulb stays on down to about oh, 55, 58 volts. So anyway, uh, the cool demo is that these neon bulbs are actually light sensitive. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the voltage down so that the bulb is not triggering. And then I am just going to bring a blue LED near the bulb. Sure enough, the blue light knocks some electrons off the uh, metal electrode inside the bulb and causes it to light up. And I don't have a UV uh, LED handy, but that would probably work even better. And here's this brighter red LED, and the photons don't have enough energy to knock any electrons off the metal. So this is really an example of the photoelectric effect, uh, which is how Einstein got his first uh, Nobel Prize. So anyway, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, we can turn the, the voltage up so that the bulb just flickers a little bit. And let's see how far away uh, I can get this thing to trigger. Now i got to find the right LED. So check this out. Isn't that cool? And you can actually see, let's uh, turn the curve over, move it over to the side, and turn the brightness up. And you can see that the, the trigger voltage droops just uh, maybe a volt or two. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. That's all.